Now, speaking of electric trucks, this one came to my attention that is another option in this space, which I, for whatever reason, hadn't hit my radar yet, is from a company called Nikola. <laughs> hmm. Remember yesterday how you were mad at the website being like the other website? x -Pang. Yeah. This is the name. They're just straight up saying it. Okay, mm. you're Tesla? Fine, we're Nikola. Mm. And they've had their own series of beefs with Tesla in the past. They are now taking deposits on their truck, $5,000 deposits, based on a render only. This is the render. This is it. Oh. Uh, they, don't, they don't have a prototype, but they'll take your five grand mm. on a render. That got, that's got to make you feel a little bit uncomfortable, but it's definitely, a different, uh, once again, a different approach from the Cybertruck. This looks like a typical truck. It looks sort of like an F-150 or something, mm. even more so than the Rivian, mm -hmm. particularly the headlights, very F-150. Uh, more of a transformer, almost like a Hot Wheels kind of look to it, particularly the paint job. Off-road tires on there. Uh, anyway, they said originally that there was no way that they were going to make a pickup truck when the Cybertruck came out. They said, nah, it's not our thing. However, they, before that, accused Tesla of uh, drawing inspiration from them on Tesla's semi-truck because that they've, they've also been in that space. Anyway, this new one is called the Badger. And if you scroll down a little more, you'll see a few more images, including an interior shot. But they're just renders. They're not pictures. They're just renders. And they're asking for five grand just, to, just for a render. I mean, you will eventually get a truck that you can pay for, but just based on a render. All right, well, I want to know from you, where does this one stack up compared to, uh, well, now we have three. We have the Cybertruck, the Rivian, and we have this, this Nikola Badger is the name of it. Badger. Which one are you taking out of this bunch for I your day-to-day -day life? Will he do on the street? Will he do on the road? I think the cyber truck. You're going cyber. Yeah. You're going to get a lot of attention. Elon sold me with the cyber. You're getting, you know, oh, the hat. Supporter. Oh, okay. So you've been, you've been bought and sold. Oh, yeah. And we can't ask you any questions anymore. No. Because look at your hat. No, you're probably right. Tesla has a track record. I have to say, I'm personally interested in a Rivian only because I feel... Uh, from a utilitarian perspective, it it uh, it checks a lot of boxes. If you go go look, I mean, I pre-ordered the Cybertruck for the record. I'm I'm interested in both of them, but if you look at the, I don't know how many Cybertrucks are going to sell. The thing obviously broke the internet, mm -hmm. but there's got to be a customer out there that wants something that's the shape of a regular truck. <laughs> yeah, like, let's go. <laughs> let's not go crazy here. Let's so if if Nikola. if we're if the disruption is going to be at its maximum potential. You're going to need some electric trucks that look like course, trucks. Yeah. So options are good. Even though I ordered the Cybertruck, it's a, it's a, it's fun. It's sci-fi. All the rest of it. I'm glad that the Rivian exists as an option mm -hmm. as well. It's almost like the Cybertruck could have just been a one-off vehicle for Tesla, and they still could have done alongside the Cybertruck some sort of more traditional form truck mm -hmm. and had two truck options. Yeah, you're right. Kind of like how Ford has the F-150 and then the Raptor, well, that's just the trim level. Mm -hmm. But, like, they could have had some crazy extreme cyber truck and then a truck like Rivian. But, I, I mean, it's hard. Making cars, what am I talking about? I'm just pulling them out of the air. And then you just make one of these. And then you just make one of those. But I just, if you could just real quickly go to a Rivian picture, I'll just tell you why it keeps coming up on, for me, why I keep bringing it up. Uh, go to Rivian Cargo. Type something like Rivian Cargo. And you'll see it has some really unique cargo spaces, which would be useful. That side space is so cool behind, uh, in front of the rear wheel well and behind the second row door. It's a pass through. Look how cool that is. So now you have the, the front, the trunk, which in a truck you're aware of is a big space. You have this section. If you click on the tailgate there, the bottom left, one more down. You have more storage under there, under a lid. And then look at the sides. Is there storage on the sides as well of the bed? It's like, wow, there's so much utility thought that went into this thing that I'm excited to check out. Mm -hmm. So that's why it keeps coming up for me. I realize this, you're not going to turn any heads. This is going to be a more low-key play. Yes. You just want to pull up to the parking lot. You'll turn some heads. But the Cybertruck, shut it down. Shut down the parking lot. Everybody's coming to talk to you. Look, he's using it as a seat over there. 
You see, Will, I go, I go play uh, hockey on the outdoor rink. Oh. I can picture, my, I can do my skates on there. It's impressive. You got to give him, give him a few points, Will. Also, the tank term is actually really cool. Give him a few points, Will. Uh, you know, I do. You give him a few points. Yeah. Uh, even with Can't that, count them out. Even with that hat on, you give him a few points. Yeah. Okay, lovely. 